What's up guys, welcome back to Revline89. So for today, I got a cool video coming for you guys. So we are actually doing a unboxing, testing, and reviewing of the Tornado 1200. So this is a battery charger and maintainer. 1.2 amps, 6 and 12 volt. By Top Done. It's not good to have your battery left connected to your car or a vehicle or whatnot if you're not using it. So for example, if you have a lawnmower, you're not going to use your lawnmower, your riding mower, in the middle of winter, are you? No. A lot of people will, they just simply disconnect the cables, which is a good thing. That's something you definitely want to do if you don't have something like this. But the ideal thing is to keep that battery and maintain a charge at all time. That way your battery stays fully charged and it doesn't hurt the battery because batteries discharge over time and the more it does that, the, lo the less likely chance you have that your battery is going to actually last long. So let's see what all we got in here. It looks like we got a nice thick manual in here. So you can tell a product by its packaging. You know, there's so many products out there that do really poor packaging, and it shows because they don't care about their products. So this is nicely insulated. You know, they're trying to keep their product nice. So off the bat, we know this is going to be a good product. And here you, you can tell already, it's nice, sleek. It's simple to follow. So for a car, you know, if you're storing a car like I have, our Mustang and our Explorer, we don't run it during the winter time. So what we do is you can either have this in your garage, so you connect this to the battery. Don't have the battery connected to your vehicle. Just disconnect it from your vehicle. It can stay in place, just disconnected. And then you can simply connect both the positive and negative. Or you can take the battery out, which I recommend taking it out and putting it in a temperature controlled area. So let's go ahead and show you. So this is our Explorer battery, our Ford Explorer battery. And the problem with this, it actually died. Because we left it in the Explorer, we disconnected everything, but when those cold extreme lights come, it hurts the battery. And every time your battery dies or the charge gets so low, you're hurting the cells of your battery. And that's not good because then your battery might not last as long as you think it should. Some batteries can last. Have you ever wondered how some batteries actually last over five to eight years? That's because it all depends on how it's taken care of and how the charge is kept. That's why for someone who drives their vehicle a lot, it keeps the alternator keeps the battery charged so it does, the voltage doesn't drop too low so we're going right now in unwinding this this is going to be a very good test of this product because the battery battery here is dead so what we're going to go do is we're going to check this out we're going to untangle all the cords here and you plug this into your home outlet just like simple all right we're going to go ahead pull these apart don't have them connected like that even though they say that you know you could have it like that and everything would be fine because of how it's designed don't do that don't be keep these away from each other don't let them touch okay find your negative find your positive black is always negative red is always positive at least in the US so what I like to do is I like to set them in front just like that so we know. We're going to go ahead and plug this into an outlet. Okay, it's now plugged into an outlet. Now you can see here that everything, it's blinking, it says normal. Okay, now that we have that plugged in, see it's normal, it's on, we're going to go ahead and now connect it. So we're going to go connect the negative to the battery. We're going to go now connect the positive. 
Okay. Okay, so here's something to, to keep notice. So there's five different charging modes. So standby, we just looked at that. So 12 volt lithium. For charging 12 volt lithium ion batteries included um, iron phosphate, the white LED will illuminate. All right, so after reading the manual here, you're gonna start out the red, it's gonna be a little red icon here. It's gonna be underneath the red icon, which looks like a power icon, it's gonna be blue. And then over here, it's gonna be blinking white where it says normal or norm. So what you wanna do is, you know, obviously read the manual for yourself, but first figure out which mode you need. Cold AMG is an AMG battery. Um, which this is not. It says you want to verify the battery chemistry, find out from the manufacturer, so look it up online. This is a lead acid battery, which this one says right here. Um, and this is a 12 volt. So, okay, so for us, we would go ahead and the charger will be in standby mode when you connect it. So it's not doing anything. When you plug it into your outlet, it's not doing anything to your battery. Press the mode twice to toggle the appropriate charge mode for voltage chemistry. So we would press this twice and we keep pressing it twice. One, two, one, two, one, two. Now we're under 12 volt lithium and now it's blinking. So you press it twice to move it to each section. You don't want it at 6 volt unless that unless you got a 6 volt battery battery and you don't want a 12 volt cold AMG unless you have an AMG battery which look it up um, but the cold the cold AMG is for basically if it's 14 to minus 14 degrees or colder I think it's said on here. Just read the manual for yourself. Um, so now we're under 12 volt lithium and it's blinking. So what we would do is press it once after we selected the mode. So we press it once and now it stopped blinking. And now it's charging. So when it's a solid white, that means it should start charging. Now it's 25% and it should go all the way up to 100%. It's pretty simple to follow if you just follow the directions. It's very easy. All right, so now once you've selected that, the charger can, main, can remain connected to the battery for needed charge. All right, here it just shows 25% LED. When the battery is 25% or less percent, it will flash 25. 50, if it's 50% or less, it will flash 50, and so forth. All right, maintenance white, yeah, maintenance white, LED. During maintenance charging, the 100% charge LED will slowly flash. So up in here. So once it hits to 100%, it will slowly flash, and that means maintenance charge. When the battery is topped off and fully charged again, the 100% charge LED will turn solid white. So if it's solid white, the battery is 100% charged, and it's not giving it any current to maintain that charge. So you can leave this connected to your battery at all times it says. So you always keep your battery fully charged. So there's just solid error LED which would be over here. So there's a little question um, exclamation park with a triangle. If that is on that means you did something wrong. That means either reverse polarity, which means you connected your negative to your positive end. Instead of connecting your negative to negative and positive to positive, you have one of them switched. Quickly unchange that. Um, another thing is, if you have a bad 
battery. So this battery, I wasn't sure if this is a good battery or not because it's died probably seven times in its lifetime and that's very bad for a battery. So if it was a really, if it was a bad battery that can't hold a charge, if this couldn't hold a charge, that would also be lit up as well. Short circuit that would light up as well if something's wrong there. Wrong charging mode selected, that would be come up there as well. So if it was a wrong charging mode. The battery voltage might be too low. So something with the battery voltage, something's not going working right. So that could cause an error. So just something to think about. So let's see. If it's a 12 volt average charge times Depends on the battery size by AH. Um, I don't know if this says how big the battery is. If it says somewhere or not. But anyway, a 10 AH would, for a 12 volt would be 5.5 hours. 30 AH, 16 hours. 60 AH, 32 hours. 80 AH, 43 hours. So just different stuff. Do not do this. Do not do that. Do not soak it in water, obviously. Do not have it around pets or children. Um, and so forth. So yeah, you know, if you have kids, don't be putting this around your kids. If you have pets, don't be putting it around your pets because you don't want them to lick one of these. Heaven forbid something happened to your pet because you didn't use common sense. Um, this can also be mounted with screws so you can actually screw this in. You get plenty of cords so you can put this battery at, you know this whole setup anywhere. Um, it's very simple once you get used to it. So it, it, it's very very simple. All right, guys, so to give you a final update and review, honestly, so far, I am super impressed because, honestly, I came into this thinking it's a cheaper product. Most people can afford it. It's probably not even going to work. So far, so good. I am giving this a 9 out of 10. We are not giving it a 10 out of 10 because we haven't, tested it fully yet as far as letting it charge and then maintain but I'm so confident so far with how it's performing I can definitely give it a 9 out of 10 I'll put a link in the video description where you guys can buy this but I'm very impressed and I'm not just saying that for a video from the packaging to the quality of the item it's very very it's high quality. I'm very impressed. So far, I can't see anything or anywhere that they would have cut any corners. That's phenomenal. The manual's good. The clamps are good. The wire might be a little thinner than I'd like, like up in here. But it does the job. It's not hot. Nothing on the system is hot. So that's normally, that can be a big problem because that's a poorly designed system if the whole system's really hot. It's warm, but that's to be expected when it's charging from 120 volt into a 12 volt. So it's converting that electricity. So what that does is it takes your electric, your 120 volt or whatever, wherever country you're from, here 120, it takes that voltage it converts it in here to your 12 volt or your 6 volt then it sends that to your battery to charge your battery so you're gonna have some temperature it's gonna be warm what you don't want and you can check on it every hour or so you know when you're first testing a product what you don't want is something to be burning hot like extremely hot because that would be a sign of poor gauge wire 
That would be a sign of poor components inside. So right now we can feel it and it's warm. We will check on it every couple hours. If nothing changes, it stays the same warm temperature, then I won't add that clip. So if there's something that happened that's out of the ordinary, I will add that clip right now. You guys will see that clip. If this video ends, then that means it's still a 9 out of 10 product. That means I'm still happy. That means it wasn't overheated. I'm going to wait at least 7, 8 hours before I edit this video. So any negative thoughts that I have will be added on right now. And if nothing's added, that means it's still a 9 out of 10.